No, we just took a wrong turn somewhere. We were on the right path. We just took a wrong turn somewhere. And yes, it is the sixth dungeon. Yeah, this is dungeon number six. Yeah, we took a wrong turn. That's what it was, is we just took a wrong turn. And yes, I am aware that I am almost done, but we'll see if my sanity retains itself. That's not too bad. I can deal with being half a heart less than... than kosher. All right, let's do this. Behold, Owl Link. I figured there was. EBS. Let's look at Owl Link. That's... Oh my god, that's adorable. That is absolutely adorable. That's really good art, too. Anime 10 plus... Oh, nice, Anonymoth. Nice. For your own channel or for uh, as a commission? All right. Let's see what horrors come from this boss. The floor is alive, isn't it? Hey, dummy, need a hint? My weak point is... Whoops, there I go, talking too much again. Facade. His name is Facade, really, game? All right, so you're going to throw the floor at me. Ow. So I'm hoping this is just a matter of... Oh, ow. Don't do that. Oh, come on! Oh, give me a break. Okay, how? How damage you? How damage you? Of course. I see how this works. Alright, so I can't touch the face. Oh, that one was... Ooh, nicely placed there, Crafts. Nicely placed. If you place it on the corners, it won't fall down the hole. Oh, God. That's fine. Jerk. Come on, blow up. Take the hit. That's right on your nosy nose. Right on your eyeball. Beautiful. First try, chat. First try. He's a two-stage boss, isn't he? Uh, I don't know, Fletcher. If you did, I might have missed it. I might have missed it. Ah, uh, gotcha, Namoth. Gotcha for Discord. Jackie Levy. Uh, just type melons. <laughs> I do not get that. I do not get that theorem, but it's funny. That's a very tall person, Running Paw. All right. Floor is Angie, and I bet you this is a two part battle. When Fish wakes up, everything on the island will be gone forever. And I do mean everything. So they keep hinting at the fact that if I wake up the windfish, the dream will end. Well. What the blank was that? Oh, it's a commercial that has Gizmo in it. Okay. 
Just give him a Snickers, I wish. Immediately save the game now. With the way Crafty plays today, we're immediately saving the game. <laughs> Was he wearing a white dress and a large hat? It's a coral triangle. How adorable. Play it. That's adorable. No, it's a reference in, it's a reference to uh, RE8. It's a reference to RE8. Oh my lord, that chili smells delicious. Mountain. Something calls from the mountains. To the mountains, I guess. Oot! The many monsters of this island fear that the windfish is about to awaken. Monsters' power is real. They may conquer the island and destroy their foes. That day may come soon. Hoot hoot. Now go to the mountain tower. Fly like a bird. Hoot hoot. No, I don't exactly trust you, uh, Mr. Owl. Um. Well, they say go to the mountain. I'm guessing they mean up here? Or to the actual windfish, I wonder. Who knows? Let's use our ocarina and do some fast traveling. The owl is fine. <laughs> it makes you question. Yeah, it does make you question your actions, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's not necessarily hi, Yuki. Uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Hello, small feline. There's one. Yeah, that's true. That would make sense that it is this tower. Uh, so I guess we'll go to Telltale Heights. That is not the right way to get to the tower, though. I think actually the right way to get to the tower is over here. Probably all the way back, and then I've got to cross over, would be my guess. You know, Yuki, if you're going to sit in my lap, you need to, like, actually lay down and just not tenderize the whole time, please. Like, I appreciate the, the tenderizing, but... Oh, so many biscuits. So many biscuits from a little kitty. No. Oh. Need something, you can't just go to the dungeon without it, okay? Uh, it'd be nice game if you told me I needed something before I ran all the way out to the tower just to find out I don't have it. Um, so that said then, let us talk to the telephone dude, because he gives really good hints. Naturally, we're gonna head back here just to see if there's anything new in the skill crane, too. One last dungeon. Uh, and yes, Yuki is making all of the biscuits in my lap currently. He's cold. <laughs> Which, given the fact that the house is at 65 degrees Fahrenheit, I don't blame her for being cold. But I am staunchly refusing to turn the heat on today. And yeah, we do have two dungeons left. Two dungeons left. So I don't think we'll be beating the game today. We can try, but I don't think we'll be beating the game today. Because I have been told that the last two dungeons are ginormous. Yeah, it is eight. It is eight. But we're getting close. I mean, that was instrument uh, six. Plus stuff. Yeah, what is this stuff? Um. All right, so there's nothing good in the skill crane. Uh, telephone dude, you are over here. Please do not barrage into the chicken. 
All right, weird telephone dude. Bring, bring. Yes, this is Alria. You are starting to like music, eh? Well, a frog named Mamu, who lives in the signpost maze, might know some new songs, but he charges charges a lot to play them. I click. Signpost maze. Uh, honestly, Theron, I couldn't tell you because I've never played the original. I, I am lacking in knowledge of the original. Oh, gotcha. There's an area after Dungeon 8. Interesting. Ha, <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I, I personally have noticed a couple things different. Um, because I was watching Riv play a little bit of this. So, I know there are a few things that are different. Not a lot. But there are some differences, and it looks like the differences are mostly, like, quality of life things. Okay, so we're looking for a signpost maze. Signpost maze, huh? On signpost maze. I don't see a signpost maze. There's the desert. I beat it lots, yeah. Where is the signpost maze? Yeah, the guides on old Nintendo games really did make a huge difference. They made a huge difference on old Nintendo games. Well, that's the Great Fairy Shrine. I know that. Well, where's the signpost maze, I wonder? I guess there's no harm in teleporting up here. Or working my way up here and seeing if we can't activate that quick travel up there. But yeah, I don't know what it means by signpost maze. Yeah, I don't know what it means by signpost maze. That's weird. Oh, hush, puppy. That won't help me any. There. Want a hint? Sure, Riv. I will take a hint. Because I don't see a signpost maze on the... Something there, though. I don't see a signpost maze here, and I'm kind of confused by that. We never did the fishing game, and I know I saw you do it, and there was a... There's a heart container down here. Yeah. How about some fishing? Yes, fish. Here's how you do it. Hold A and release it to cast your line out. The longer you hold, the further you cast. You can tug on your line by moving L and keep real, her, keep tapping L or R real quick. You got this, little buddy. Okay. Left and south of the slime dungeon. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't you dare break the line right there. Oh, look at that! That's so cute! You landed a little fish. Just like you, it's small but has plenty of fight. You gotta dream bigger than that. Okay, a fish like that's worth, let's see here, 13 rupees. Huh, is there something caught in the fish's mouth? Oh, wow, I got the heart container on the first try. That's hilarious. Yeah, sure, we'll keep going. Because there's a big fish at the bottom of the pond that I'm curious about. I can't believe I got the heart container on the first try.
There we go. Come on, fishy fish. Oh, come on. You bit the line. I felt you bite it. The bloopers won't bite the line, will they? Ah, uh, sure. I guess we'll take you, cheap cheap. You jerk! You jerk. Also, is there a little bottle on the bottom of the... Hold on a sec. There's something down here. What is this? Whoops, you'll get it next time, buddy. Yes, I do. What is that? There is a bottle at the bottom of this. What is it? Oh, wait, can I hold another fairy? Hi, Yuki. Thank you for nuzzling my hand with your very wet nose. Dang it, why can't I get the bottle? I want the bottle. And yeah, Jiro, this game is absolutely adorable. All right, let's try and get rid of some of these fish in here. Come on. Yeah! Don't you? Oh, you jerk. Yes, I do. I want that bottle. I want that bottle. I don't know what it is, but I want it. Because it's there. But yeah, this is a very cute little mini game here. I I wholeheartedly approve of this mini game. Oh no. Oh, come on, fish. Too far away from it now. fair. It is a very chibi art style. It is a very chibi art style. But I have no nostalgia for the original game, considering I never played it, so I'm kind of okay with the art style of this. But that's probably because I never have played the original. I really want that bottle. Whatever it is, it's got to be good. just an empty flipping bottle that I can maybe carry another fairy in. Yeah, it's just an empty bottle. <laughs> but hey, I get two fairies now. Sure. Let's catch that big fish at the bottom now. Oh, as I'm here for my... Oh. No worries, Theron. No worries. I understand that not every game is for every person. I'd be happy to knock this one off the list of games, though. Come on, fish. Come on. Don't just nibble it. Bite it. Bite my... bait. Bite it. Bite it. Ah, oh, why? Come on, bite it. Bite it. Come on. You are just a jerk fish. I'm not playing anymore. We're done. No, we're done. I got the heart container. That made me happy. <laughs> Don't just nibble it, bite it. I will definitely add that as a quote. 
And that's true. That is true that I can multicast, which is nice. Uh, left and south of the slime dungeon is the hint I was given. So if I remember, the slime dungeon was this one? And south. Oh, gotcha, Riv. Yeah, they made it a little bit easier. They made it a little bit easier. Or is this the slime dungeon? That wasn't the slime dungeon. That's the castle. Oh! There! That area is not explored yet. How do I get there? That one. Okay. Okay. I see now. I see now. Well, I'll add both of the quotes. I will add both of the quotes. I do not discriminate on quotes. A nice match, man. I'm glad that you got more Digimon trained up. I'm hoping I'll have some time this weekend to get a little personal switch time in. How do I get there, though? Um, it almost looks like I have to go there. I think I'm heading the wrong way. I think I'm heading the wrong way. Hold on. Could just smush, smush them. I could just smush them together and do one quote. The quotes remind me of really the web hobbit. Yes, I did, Riv. It has been a very, 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 very long time since I read Two Kinds. But that was an amazing webcomic. And I've heard that it's still going on, too. I have heard that one is still alive and still posting. No, we want to go this way. It's past 17 years. That's insane. I need to get back to it. I need to get back into reading Two Kinds. It's been way too long. But Two Kinds is from my college days, where I was reading a ton of webcomics in between classes. And I just kind of fell out of the habit of reading webcomics. Alright, this was not the right way to go. So how do I get there? I guess we've got to come up over here, which means I am way off where I need to be right now. Dang it. I was on the right track, and I second-guessed myself. Heck. No. Not the first time that's gonna happen that I second-guessed myself. That's alright. We'll just head over to where we need to be. And Long's Lawn Service will do his duty. Yeah, I read a whole bunch of web comics uh, when I was in college. Two Kinds, Dominic Deegan, um, Unicorn Slime, which is long done. Like, actually finished. Alien Dice is still going on, and I still do check Alien Dice, but she posts very infrequently. Uh, one that I miss is Ever Summer Eve, which was a really interesting, really interesting web comic. But uh, that one didn't last. Uh, Dream Keepers I kept up with for a long time, and then I lost track of them. Alright, how do I get into there? Alright, we'll try that way. Need to swap lists. <laughs> 
I'd have to find my original list of webcomics, but one that I am reading right now, which I can highly recommend. Um, she doesn't post frequently, but she's been posting pretty regularly for years now, is Skin Deep. Skin Deep is an absolutely amazing comic. And I love her art style. Oh my god, do I love her art style. I've actually got a couple of art pieces from her. Telephone booth. Yes, I know it's a telephone booth. Oh god. Oh yeah, but yeah, Two Kinds is very well written. And it deals with some sensitive subjects, too. I'm trying to think of... What was the other one we read? Better Life? I think Better Life was the other one I was reading. And that that one was interesting. Better Days, that's what I'm thinking of with the two kids. Out of Pacers? I've never heard of Out of Placers. But yeah, Two Kinds is a great webcomic, but one that is done, and if you can still find it, I believe his archives of it are still up. Um, but it is a webcomic about twins, uh, brother and sister. And it basically, the comic starts with the two of them as like real little kids, and it ends with them both being adults, and just covers the entire gambit of their lives. It is so good. And then the sequel is their kids, but the sequel has kind of been abandoned, unfortunately. Alright, so we're in a signpost maze here. Try again from the start. Uh, okay. Start here, go this way. Writing's on the other side, okay. Go this way. Go this way, okay. Oh, hi. Go this way, okay. Go this way. Um, okay. If you go that way, and this sign would be here. Go this way, okay. Would be this sign. Oh no! We all. Oh crap. Better Days was super deep. Better Days was super deep. Interesting. That does sound interesting, Theron. All right, go south. Go this way. Go around the stump. Go this way. Go north. Would be here. Go this way. Alright, so this is... Gotta be that sign. Go south. This is obnoxious and I kind of like it. Go this way, okay. this way. Alright, so what's in line with this sign? It's gonna be that sign. Go that way. Go south. Gotta be that sign. Go this way. Uh... The sign. Go south. This is mildly entertaining, if a little annoying. Oh! Cute. You got me, game. 
Okay. Great, you did it! Your reward is this way! God. Oh, nice! This one shows you take two kinds and maybe one of my other favorites. Okay, I think I've read El Gunashiv too. That sounds super familiar. Yeah. Well, the other one that Zero got me into was Gold Digger. Gold Digger was good. Those are red, violet, to blue, and arrested crafty from getting put in the zoo. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Okay. Ribbit, ribbit. I'm Mamu on vocals. But I don't need to tell you that, did I? Everyone knows me. Want to hang out and listen to us jam? For 300 rupees, we'll let you listen to a previously unreleased cut. What do you say? Sure. Oh, no. It's a frog concert. He's got glow sticks. Been a wonderful audience. No encores, croak. You learned the frog's sound song of soul. It's a very moving tune. It can even liven up unliving things. Oh. If you play this song, you'll make everything around you feel more alive. So this is going to animate statues, I bet. Yeah, I bet you this is going to animate statues. Okay, well, that's done. Oh, that's all I needed. Okay. Guardian rod? Not quite you needed that. Okay. Um, So we're going to the tower. And I think we determined that to actually get to the tower, I have to start over here. So I guess we're going to, to Cuckoo Prairie. Why did you teleport? Um, because I thought I was in the wrong area. Was I not in the wrong area? Oh, heck balls. <laughs> I thought I was in the wrong area. I thought we had to go up to here to get to the tower. Apparently I don't yet. I jumped the gun. Now I gotta find out where I was. All right, well, at least I'm not too far away from it. Okay. Okay. So I'm... Okay, so it plays a haunting tune. Wait, how did I get in here before? No, I am going the wrong way. Pretty sure it was an owl scene. Oh... Got it. I just jumped the gun then. This is actually a really nice place to farm rupees. I'll have to remember that. I might have broken the owl scene now. But we'll go back down and we'll repeat like we just finished doing what we were doing. I'm amused that he's gone now. Okay.
Oh, yeah, I've seen a lot of people do that at zoos running paw. I have seen a lot of people do crap like that at zoos. If the animals are sleeping, leave them alone. Oh, no worries, no worries. There was no effort to go back. As I'm also missing something in the trading game, I'm stuck in the hibiscus, actually. I don't know who wants the hibiscus. Have you heard of the flying rooster of... <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I wake up the weather vane? Ooh. Brings life to unliving things. I bet you I can wake up the weather vane. I knew you could do this. Zero Wolf and I are watching a playthrough of um, Link to the Past. And they woke up the rooster in that game. And I was curious if I could do it in this one, too. Apparently, yes, you can. Hmm? It didn't work? Oh, come on. Here sleeps the flying rooster. Hmm. All right. I have a feeling we've got to do some digging. No? Really? Hello, small child. Reveal your secrets. You push it. You push the weather vane, and there's a thing down here. It's a skull. That's kind of scary. Yes? <laughs> okay, this is cute. This is cute. I'm resurrecting a skull. <laughs> you hold him up like it's an item. Wow, the rooster has recovered. He seems very friendly. Um. Oh! Wait, I can fly with the rooster? Um. Okay. Uh, not sure how this is useful, but okay. We'll take him. Oh, and I have the bracelet level two. It's just a flesh wound. Apparently Link never needs to walk again. Because he is now flying. I like that you can just huck the rooster, too. And yes, yes, it pairs well with Redacted. And yes, I am that bored. Come on. There we go. Run away. Run away. Oh, they stopped attacking me. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, gotcha, Riv. Gotcha. Well, yeah, yeah, and I try to be respectful to uh, running paw. We don't always succeed, but we certainly do try. I hope I'm heading the right way. I don't think I am. I do not feel like I am heading the right way. Take that ruby, though. And yes, I will stretch and hydrate.
And yes, we do have burp friend. We do have burp friend now. Oh. Big old crack out of my back again. All right, we might as well save the game while we're here, too. No, stop it. Stop it. Still don't feel like I'm heading the right direction. It just does not feel like this is the right direction. I could be wrong. Okay, I'll accept this. You hook shot. Yep. Okay, so this was at least worth coming. Like, it was at least worth coming here. This wasn't the right direction, but I'll take it. Oh, nice, Euro. Nice. Yeah, I actually went out on Wednesday afternoon and I picked up the stuff from my garden and then it decided to be freezing cold outside so I can't plant anything. It can only be one direction? Ugh. I like how you did that the hard way. Huh? Wait, I did that the hard way? How is that the hard way? How is that the hard way? I'm confused. How was that the hard way? Oh, well, fine then. Fine, I'll just use the bird instead of using the hook shots. <laughs> you were supposed to use the bird. Well, I didn't. <laughs> It didn't even occur to me to use the bird. It's like, oh, it's a hookshot thing. Oh, my lord. That's typical crafty there for you. That is typical crafty there. I'm going the complete wrong direction. It's designed for hookshot. Yeah, that's fair. All right, no, I'm not going the wrong way. Maybe. I don't know. My brain hurts. <laughs> yeah, no joke. It didn't even occur to me to use the bird. Didn't even occur to me. All right, bird. You do not lift me high enough to get up ledges. So what use are you? Out of the way, bird. Or rocket you. All right, that is the one dungeon. Okay. Well, we can go see the windfish now because I figured out how to get up there. Not tamaranch. Really? I can't pick those up? No. And that's a song I haven't thought about in a long time. Hello, giant eggy. You are a giant eggy. Oh, this didn't actually help me any. All right. Well, let's stop mucking around and see if we can't get to the next dungeon. I don't think we'll beat it today, but we can at least get to it. Yeah. Yep. Hoot hoot. Your path is not easy, but you are almost there. Go east. The windfish is getting restless. Try playing your song there. Oh, the windfish song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's try that. I don't think it'll do anything, but it might do something cool. I'm curious about something. Okay. Oh, 
It does something. Oh, cool! <gasps> that is so neat. Okay, that's so neat. This is the actual sequence for when you're done. I'm just missing two instruments. Noise. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that was cool. Well, that's going to be a very fun sequence once I get all the instruments. Excuse. I want to eat my apples in peace, please. Oh, that's awesome. That's really awesome. <laughs>